Welcome to Liberty Marksman. He's Scott. I'm Ken, and today we're talking about a topic that we get asked probably on a weekly basis. A few years ago, we did a video on how to Duracoat your firearm with the rattle can kit. Yeah, it's a Duracoat rattle can. Um, I didn't have much faith in it, to be flat honest with you, and I just yeah, I mean, kind of went for it. So screw it, let's do it. And I, I'm really impressed with it. In fact, uh, yeah, we we did that video over two years ago, and this thing has been. In the rain multiple times, thrown in the back of the truck with no case. Yeah, it just it gets kicked Covered around. Covered in limestone dust. Pretty good, to the point where you know I have to show you. We literally shot the brake out of it, and I'll have to show you the new one. This is uh, Midwest Industries. If you want to send me a new one, um, <laughs> but it's actually I already got one on there. Yeah, that's the one downside about the air pistols people don't talk about is that short barrel, all that added heat and expanding gas has just cooked the shit out of the brake. So needless to say, we're going to bring you in, zoom you in, and uh, take this apart. It's dirty. Man, it was out last weekend. Starters, before we go into it, this is your favorite AR that you have, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah, I, I tend to... Have a lot of fun with this because it really pisses everybody off inside the uh, indoor range. Yeah, that short barrel just is so freaking loud. It's a blast. He, he's had, it's he's literally had people come a blast. from outside in the store to see what the heck is being fired. Uh, with that eight and a half inch barrel and that break on there, it just puts out a fireball and it's just a blast to shoot. I'm trying to get you up close and personal with some of the finish. Um, I definitely have some chips going on here. Your typical magwell wear. Yeah, let's get in the magwell. Really, really kind of hard to see. It's just in your broken edges here. Uh, try to turn it around. You can see where it wears. But uh, if that ain't worn, you ain't shooting. I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, I mean. God, you're well over 5,000 rounds on this thing. There's yeah. not an outing that this gun goes out, or an outing we go on. That we don't dump 510 mags through it. Yeah, because it's just that much fun. Yeah. So, like I said, it's dirty. But that yeah, might be a little wear right here. So you want to know if it holds up I would say it holds up pretty damn well yeah even here on the shell deflector you can see that there's a little bit of chipping but not bad it it's it dimples it it, it doesn't chip it being that it's more like an epoxy paint than like a Cerakote being a Ooh. ceramic based paint god what you do to this thing <laughs> <clears throat> um but with that being said, I'm going to see if we can pull this off and get you a visual internally. I didn't want to clean it before this because nobody likes cleaning their gun. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an evil necessary. But you can probably see where the well, maybe you can't. I'm going to try to get you into where the bearing rides, your bolt slides. I'm going to call it a bearing surface because that's actually where it rides. I'm going to give you some spotlighting. No, oh, that's making it worse, making it better. So, yeah, for the amount of rounds. It's not completely worn all the way through uh, in certain areas, but it's definitely going to have the wear. My God, it's dirty. Um, <laughs> and the other thing is, see, even with the two, even with the two receiver halves meet, you're not getting any. You're not getting any chipping there. You're just getting, you're getting it from the repeated 
abuse of, you know, brass bouncing off the side of it or the charging handle. Yeah. Let's see that. You know, where your, your hook for your charging handle, your hook for your charging handle hits. It's just that, you know. That's going to wear. You're All right, so now you look at it as a whole and you can see the sheen on it is pretty much the exact way it looked the day it was done. And you don't clean this gun. You're not no silicone rag in the side of it to make it shine. That's exactly how it, it looks from the first day you, yeah. you did it, put it together. Yeah, this is a fresh rag. I mean, it doesn't it doesn't go flat. It just it, it seems like the more you the more you clean it over time, you're actually polishing that whole surface. It doesn't really yeah fog out. Bottom line, I would definitely do it again, and I would actually suggest it to someone. Yep. Okay. You know? So would you do the rattle can? You've done you've done this one in the rattle can. We did the your father in law's M16 out of the airbrush which one do you like better i you know i would take grief on this either way i go because everybody that that doesn't have a shop yes. or somewhere to go the, the spray gun's probably not a great option for some people yeah. but i at the same time i shoot a lot of paint out of a can so i mean he i've got a true. lifetime of rattle canning so i would probably go with the rattle can just because it's easy and it's time. it's you're done yeah, that, I mean that's the best part is you don't have to it's have an done. air compressor. There's no clean up, you don't there's have, no prep you know. work. I would just suggest you get enough. Yes, and you know they say that I don't remember how long it's good for a week or something after you've mixed it and. Yeah, well, they also it. said that it was good for a long gun. Not. <laughs> you had a little extra. I had a little extra, but I don't know that it would have been enough for a long gun. Yeah. No. So bottom line, no. it holds a really nice shine, and it's for the amount of use, the durability is fantastic. But there is a cure time, and that's kind of an inside joke. <laughs> yeah, don't don't ask the owner of Dirt Coat about the cure about time. The cure time. <laughs> bottom line, this Dirt Coat, even out of the rattle can, is awesome. It holds up really well. It still looks good after two years of having the hell beat out of it. I don't see how you could go wrong with it. Is it better than Cerakote? That's a that's another video. Yeah, that has been another we'll video. Do, we'll do that later. But I mean, it still looks pretty damn good. Yeah, I'm not I'm and, not disappointed with it at all. Being in the rain, several occasions, the aluminum hasn't corroded underneath and popped it or nothing. It, it, so I'd say you cannot go wrong with this Cerakote. Nope. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And remember, only you can prevent socialism. So long.